I begin with the name of Allah who is the most kind and most merciful. Assalamu alaikum dear educarians. I hope you guys are doing very well and taking good care of yourself. And I sincerely hope that you have done your previous work. Today is our seventh lesson of social studies. Today we will start unit number nine, my country. We will do chapter number one of unit number nine. So let's begin. Before starting our next lesson, let's recall our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we did chapter number six, new ways to exercise from textbook and from workbook also. We also did worksheet of unit number five. This is the content page of our today's lesson. Today we will start unit number nine, my country. Today we will do chapter number one, how Pakistan came into being from textbook, page number 88 and 89. Material required for our today's lesson is pencil, eraser, scale, social studies textbook, and highlighter. Learning objective of our today's lesson is after today's lesson, you will be able to know about the history of Pakistan, that how Pakistan came into being. In today's lesson, we will learn about the history of our country. In today's lesson, we will see what is the subcontinent and what countries it belongs to. Next, we will talk about empires. After that, we will discuss what is monarchy. Then we will discuss two nation theory in detail. We will also talk about migration. So let's move towards our lesson. My dear students, please open page number 88 of your textbook. Write day, date and today's task. Our today's chapter is how Pakistan came into being. Let's start reading our history. Pakistan is a very young country. Before independence, Pakistan was a part of the United Subcontinent. Subcontinent was the name given to the area that includes present-day Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Azadi se pehle, yani before independence, yani Pakistan ek separate country banne se pehle, United Subcontinent ka part tha. Subcontinent us area ko diya jane wala naam tha jis area mein is waqt Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh aur Sri Lanka shamil hai. Dear students, I am repeating once again, before independence, Pakistan was a part of United Subcontinent before becoming a separate country. And what is subcontinent? Subcontinent was the name given to the area that currently includes Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Students underline these lines. Hindus, Muslims, Christians and people of all other religions lived happily. At that time it was a common practice to have empires. Hindu, Muslims, Christians or Dusim Zahab ke log khushi khushi rehte the. Us ye common practice thi matlab aam tha us waqt empires hona. Empire matlab sultanat means us waqt king or queen rule karte the. Hindus, Muslims, Christians and other religions lived happily at that time. At that time, it was a common practice having empires. Empires means sultanat. That means king or queen ruled at that time. An empire is a group of countries that are ruled by a king or queen. Means a state or group of states under rule of one leader. What is an empire? A state or group of states under rule of one leader and an empire is a group of countries that are ruled by a king or queen. Yani jis mein ek leader ki kumat hoti hai, ek leader rule karta hai. For a long time, there were many kings that ruled the subcontinent. This type of rule is called monarchy. Ek tweel arse se, yani ek lambe arse tak, matlab ek lambe arse tak bohut saare baasha the, jinhone bare sagir par hukumat ki. What is monarchy? 
ruled by a single person who inherits power like a king or a queen underline these lines some of the kingdoms that were in the subcontinent were the mughal kingdoms and the british raj subcontinent mein rehne wali kuch kingdoms mughal kingdoms thi and some were british raj the british raj became when the mughal empire ended under the british raj the people of the subcontinent were slaves to the queen of england at its peak the british empire controlled 1 by 4 of the earth surface and 1 by 4 of the world population so it was a huge empire british raj us waqt shuru hua jab mughal empire end hua according to british raj subcontinent ke log england ke queen ke gulam the theek hai at its peak the british empire controlled us waqt british empire ka control earth par 1 by 4 tha and 1 by 4 earth ki jo population thi duniya ki jo population thi us par ye hukumat kar rahe the so it was a huge empire is wajah se ye huge empire tha underline this line empire controlled 1 by 4 of the earth surface and 1 by 4 of the world population on next page write today's task at the time of the british raj disagreements between muslims and hindus began soon people understood that for muslims to live a happy life a separate country was needed at the time of british raj british raj ke waqt muslims aur hindus ke darmiyan disagreement start ho gaye matlab ikhtilafat shuru ho gaye wo ek dusre ke khilaf ho gaye jald hi logon ne samajh liya ke khushguwar zindagi guzarne ke liye musalmanon ko ek alag mulk ki zarurat hai let me explain for you more dear students disagreement started between muslims and hindus during the british raj they turned against each other soon people realized that muslims need a different origin to live a good life it was believed that hindus and muslims of the subcontinent were different as nations and separate countries was needed for both to practice their beliefs this is called the two nation theory what is two nation theory the two nation theory is the basis of the creation of pakistan it states that muslims and hindus are two separate nations by every definition musliman aur hindu har lihaz se separate nation hai alag qoum hai they are separate their culture their tradition religion custom beliefs are totally separate musalmano aur hindu ka culture totally different hai ek dusre se their way of marriage their rituals their ceremonies their environment their language everything is different so they are separate nations and they need separate countries to practice their beliefs this is called two nation theory underline these lines brave heroes worked very hard for the nation of pakistan many people left to live in pakistan this was the biggest human migration in recorded history brave heroes worked very hard for the nation of pakistan pakistan ke liye unhone bahut mehnat ki bahut se log wahan se apna ghar chhod kar pakistan mein rehne ke liye aaye ye duniya ka sabse bada history mein record kiya jane wala human migration tha and what is migration migration is when people move from one country to and other to live what is migration migration kya hai jab log ek country se dusre country mein move karte hain wahan rehne ke liye jate hain to ise migration kehte hain migration is when people move from one country to another to live underline this line here two pictures are given in which people are migrating from one country to another country my dear students i hope that you have understood all the points of our today's lesson now this is time for task to do today you will revise highlighted points from page number 88 and 89 now we will talk about some social skills dear students as you know in our previous lesson we did three points of them sharing cooperating and listening today we will continue with point number 
following directions students you should follow the directions of your elders like your parents your teachers always follow their instructions while doing a task number 5 respecting always respect your elders and give love to your younger ones also you must respect and obey your parents and teachers number 6 making eye contact good eye contact is an important part of communication you should always make appropriate eye contact while talking you should look at people when you are talking with someone number 7 using manners students be a good role model with your manners make sure to use your manners when you are interacting with other people always be polite use thank you please sorry these kinds of words on regular basis when needed dear students i sincerely hope that you must have understood our today's lesson i hope that today's lesson was helpful for you and you have understood each and every point inshallah we will meet soon again in our next lesson till then take care and allah hafiz